So Argentina, we have finally, finally completed our voyage and we are currently anchored outside Rio de Plata in San Lorenzo in Argentina. pretty much what it looks like on anchor as you guys can see there's a large amount of vessels near us at this anchorage it is super congested we're waiting for our pilot to board us uh, we were supposed to have pilot on arrival but things changed rather quickly boat shut down at night while we were approaching the pilot station basically because of the weather and eventually we couldn't really go into the port they told us to wait outside so this is the plan for now we might go into the port tonight so you guys are just preparing everything on deck we have a little bit of steaming going on we have a couple of anchored vessels around us and it is a beautiful day to be in South America. The thing that's funny about this ship is I have two ranks that I'm looking at right now. Uh, the Chief Officer's rank and the Second Officer's rank because I'm additional Chief Mate. So while being in South America brings me a ton of joy because it is one of the best places to go out and party at. Everything that you've heard about South American ports and the parties and the shore leaves is true. It's very, very possible. I am not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to go out and do all of that this time because of the amount of workload and pressure that I have. a breakfast for champions. You are now being shot in 4K 60 frames. What's up, what's up? Hi. Good days at sea? Yes. Some of the best times at sea. This is our captain. Sir, say hi to everyone. How are you? <laughs> Jeez, look at that! That is by far one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. This is definitely a view to die for. Welcome to Argentina, San Lorenzo. Then the boys and I would always chill on the bridge wing enjoying these amazing views and this gorgeous sunset. It's just something you can only see when you're in the middle of the ocean on a cargo ship. Okay, I'm back on screen. I hope you guys are enjoying the amazing river time lapse. It's actually an experience which is one of a kind. Not a lot of people get to transit the San Lorenzo Rio de Plata River. This river is basically between Argentina and Uruguay and it can go up to 300 miles in, which is what we're doing. We're going right in 300 miles from the mouth of the river to a port on the inside. It is one of the most shallow passages in the world that you can take, especially if you're on bigger ships. And this chemical tanker, for the kind of ship that it is, is pretty big. So it is a pretty critical navigation operation. Also, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the cargo operations and how everything works on this ship as compared to my other chemical tankers which I was on in the Oddfell fleet. So stay tuned, the vlog is going to continue, the epic river time lapse is going to continue and this video is far from over.
we are finally here. We came in through the river, and you guys have seen the entire passage in. Okay, so it's officially time for me to say welcome to San Lorenzo, Argentina. Like I said, this is one of the largest, most commercial rivers in Argentina, so it's really important that you get a chance to see this because not a lot of ships come here. There are a large number of ports, but it is restricted by depths. The river transit was insane, and the pilots are so highly skilled. It actually makes me feel like I'm barely a navigator when you look at them turning the ship and maneuvering within this river. As you guys can see, we're currently anchored at Argentina. The berth is just down there. We are anchored at the moment just so that we can get done with our pre-arrival formalities. Our tanks are being checked to ensure that the ship can load the cargo that we're supposed to load here. We will have a pilot tonight at 2300 and uh, hopefully in this port, I'm going to be helping the chief officer calculate the cargo figures, work on the topping up of the cargo tank, finishing the cargo, starting the cargo, all the critical aspects of cargo operations and hopefully you guys will get to see it too. Also stay tuned, like the river passage, we are going to be documenting the entire passage outwards as well from here to sea. So stay tuned, the vlog continues. come up to the bridge it is 1730 since I do the 4 to 8 watch for navigation on this ship I'm also doing the 6 to 12 watch for cargo operations I'm currently setting up the routes for departure from this amazing port as you guys can see it is a nice warm day but it is super cold outside the temperatures are like 14 15 degrees but the sun is shining through and the sky is absolutely gorgeous so yeah it is a fantastic day here in San Lorenzo I hope you guys got to see something today you never get to see before uh, the terminals here are really pretty I can't take my camera outside to film but yeah these are really old terminals we have a bulk area over there in that location overall it is a beautiful beautiful port and it's been a fantastic experience coming to Argentina we couldn't go out for shore leave for the simple reason that our ship is headed to Australia next and if anyone goes out in the last 30 days before coming to Australia there will be additional COVID protocols thrown onto the ship as regulation so we couldn't really go out the captain cancelled our shore leave but it is what it is and that's basically life at sea right now after the pandemic <laughs> It is a super foggy day over here. The river is completely blown out. But the cargo operations continue because we have radio contact with the jetty. So amazing, amazing view. It is so cold. It's insane. finally lifted it is getting a little warm here in Argentina I just got done with my breakfast I'm back in the cargo control room uh, it is my first loading operation on board the ship as additional chief mate I think in the next loading operation the chief mate will go down and I might get promoted provided everything goes as per plan so it is a good experience but it's also a little unnerving because it's a brand new task a brand new job a lot of different responsibilities and it's very different to being on the bridge as second hand some dinner before my watch and then I have to keep watch from 6 to 12. We're probably going to be sailing out tonight so that's basically going to be the end of this entire journey that we had in Argentina. Vinti! Good evening my friend. How are you looking sir? This is my number two guy. Okay. Junior officer, he keeps watch with me. Uh, 
sudden they leaving the port he got them on the cargo operations the new captain came on board and requested a change of watch uh he needs a third mate in the morning because he needs them for their port papers and their paperwork in the morning watch so i've come back to 12 to 4 it is currently 11:30 We're heading up to the bridge and we are leaving San Lorenzo but don't worry I'm going to be documenting the entire river passage for you guys so we're going to be heading out and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this amazing river transit because it is something that's very rare and something that a lot of people haven't put up on YouTube yet so I hope you enjoyed it my life at sea will continue and the videos will keep coming definitely hit that subscribe button don't forget to like the video it really helps the channel out and I'm going to see you guys in the next one Okay so I am finally back in my cabin. It has been quite an adventure to actually be able to transit this river. It's been so so different to majority of the navigation that I've been doing over the last one month since I've been on board because well on this ship we do long voyages which is very different to what I'm used to. I was sailing on Oddfell tankers which were basically Asian run ships and they did super short voyages. But we've done a river passage and this river passage is quite extensive. 600 miles in 2 days which has taken a lot out of everyone on board because it is uh, quite taxing but it has been an experience because we got to transit one of the most beautiful rivers in the world so that was basically the aim of this vlog don't worry we have a lot more content planned ahead on this channel with life at sea you guys are with me for the journey and you guys are going to be a part of everything that happens i'm going to sign off here and see you guys in the next video so stay tuned hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time Peace.